entertainment, celebrity gossips, trending gist, you get it all here on Kelly's TV. Please do like this video and subscribe to this channel. When I'm through with you, oh, when I'm through with you, oh my god, you will see. Hello guys, it's Kelly's TV. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Before we get right into the video of today, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and also like this video. So guys, today is Monday when everybody is supposed to prepare, go to work and plan ahead for the remaining days of the week. But Whiskey woke up and decided to cause trouble on the internet. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Yes, how it all began. It's about to go down. On the early hours of Monday at exactly 4.46 a.m. when everyone was sleeping, Whiskey took to his official Twitter account to write, Every day I get things to say, but my mouth's no good. And a fan of his replied, Shall I release some? Whiskey Dog now replied to that fan and said, Now by force. The fan replied back and said, Yes, now by force. Biggest bet. After Whiskey saw the last reply of his fan, he decided to reply back, but this time he replied with a video of the video crying and kneeling down. You all know when um, the video was accused of cheating on Choma, this video surfaced online and we didn't know that Whiskey saved it on his phone. Like it wasn't a repost, Whiskey actually saved this video on his phone and posted it today to reply to his fans, telling them to kneel down like exactly how Obio kneeled down and cried before he was going to release a song for them. Here is a clearer version of the video he posted that caused the whole problem this morning. So when he posted that video of the video begging on his knees and crying, of course a lot of fans had something to say and I'll be coming to that after I tell you how Don Jazzy got involved in all of this. I mean, I don't just say Don Jazzy don't wake up from bed before Whiskey disrespected him on social media. So after the Whiskey FC saw the Bass Bulls mode Whiskey was on, they began to report everything that has been going on while he was away on the platform. I mean, the report kept coming until one report caught his attention. And this is it. Whiskey, Ladi posted talk nonsense yesterday. I beg, enter that one too. Whiskey replied and said, Lord, never chatting to anyone signed to an influencer next. <laughs> And you all know Ladipo is signed to Don Jazzy. So in other words, Don Jazzy is an influencer. And he didn't just stop there. In order to make his points clearer and who he was referring to, he reposted a lot of tweets concerning Don Jazzy. Now, when Nigerians woke up and saw what Whiskey was cooking about their faves, of course, they had something to say. Just like this one said. Like I did say in another blog, this is actually how Whiskey and David mostly foil their rivalry. It makes them stay in conversations all the time and relevant. This is the reason none of them will caution their fan base for going against each other because in the end, they are the biggest beneficiaries. Now, nothing else justifies Whiskey's pettiness in using a video pur purportedly featuring the video begging an American woman for sex to respond to a fan. A video that not only derogates the video's personality but has the potency to cause troubles in his home. It's just about growing influences by stroking fans' mid-minds and following a perceived but imaginary hit or field. Hope this helps. Tenerega said Don Jazzy helped flourish the careers of the bands when he could he was Savage Remo, Johnny Drew, Ladipo and many others. Olamide championed Adekule Gold, Liu Kes, Asake, Fireboy, just to name a few. The video is helping a few upcomers like Mel Kun build up their career. Same with MI who elevated artists like Black Moss. But the question is, besides posting on IG stories, who has Whiskey made a success in in the music in his music career? This one said, this kind of matter, I know they put man because all these musicians want them smoke Igbo finish now to begin his behave. All of them, now human being like us, now because they be celebrity will they look them with correct eyes, but remove celebrity, most of them are gay people from real life. Mr. Macron said, Don Jazz is perhaps the biggest entertainment influencer in Africa. And the beautiful thing is that his influence cuts across from music to content, films, brands, etc. However, we would all be hypocrites to say that the context in which he was called an influencer isn't disrespectful to everything he has done and is still doing for the Nigerian music industry. An absolute legend, he promotes music artists even outside his record level, gives free advice and visibility to up and coming artists, shows love to everyone irrespective of their status, and also a beneficiary of his phenomenal influence, Don Babaje, your influence too. This one says, Don Jazzy promotes his artists and random people, giving them a platform with his collab and someone who has never promoted anyone is calling him an influencer. That's the height of disrespect. This one says, 
the context in which Risky tweeted that was highly disrespectful. You don't get to the top and clamp down on those that raised you up. This one said, everybody that was there during the old Whiskey era going to say, Whiskey mass no good. How that short thing let man stop giving basketballs all of a sudden still remains a mystery to date. This one said, Whis uh, Danny Rega said, Whiskey was one side to EME Records, whose co-founder Banky W was and is still a part-time influencer. He also forgot that uh, he himself is an influencer, which is why brands use his platform to advertise and promote their products. Our star got a Grammy nomination while signed to Mavins. Rema is a global sensation while signed to the same label owned by Don Jazzy. But he needed the help of Beyonce as well as Drake, international artists, to get a career breakthrough. He shouldn't disrespect record labels or their artists. This was said, all you are mean is that we Smith need international artists to make good music, more recognition, more bag and bag Grammys. But Rema and Rasta get there as doing it all alone with help of Don Jazzy. That really makes sense. This was said, your faves go cook only fans will go rant, but once Risk It Cook, all the industry say with his bloggers and town criers come out to rant. Risk It is the father chef of the industry. This one said, everybody in the industry has been influenced by Don Jazzy. He's very wild thing to say. Influenced how? Who? How did he influence the likes of Risk It? They do or Bonner or Lamide. Giveaway is a big, big cause to our country. Um, on a Sunday matter, Bill, this Risk It, the video and Don Jazzy matter don't really cause problems for internet today. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video from the beginning to this moment, please do subscribe and also like and share this video to your loved ones and friends. And finally, don't forget to tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. See you all on my next video. I'm out. Good shit.